Hello people, and welcome back to part 32 of Novaria, our vanilla city skyline snow build. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And thank you for the support last time out, you guys really enjoyed our uh, little international airport complex. And uh, so did I, really, really nice build. Nice inclusion of some tourism assets over here as well. And of course the uh, excuse to use the one-way monorail track, which is a very nice aesthetic just having this single track coming through. So I really enjoyed it, thank you for the support on it. However, in today's episode, it is time to work on, I guess what is going to be kind of a micro episode, I think this will be quite a small build, but we'll see. <laughs> this video will probably end up being like 40 minutes or something. But today, I want to build at Novaria's ore pit. So way back when we first started the city, we obviously constructed the hydroponics farm facility here, and then we have the oil fields. And we marked out this space here to function as some kind of ore pit. Now it is already established as an ore area because it's been feeding the demand for metal in the city, but it's not meeting it nearly enough yet. So if we fly over to our port, we are seeing that the industrial steel plant is not being fed. The electronics factory is running low on metal and the modular house factory is also running low on metal. A metal is a resource produced by an ore industry area, so we need to flesh out this build today in order to keep the factory stocked and also to round out this kind of final frame of this side of the map, okay? So it should be quite an interesting project today to try and combine an ore pit on the side of an oil refinery. But of course, we will see what we can do. I think I've got some nice ideas in store today. But otherwise, let's get started and build the various ore pit, shall we? Okay, so first of all, we're going to start by moving uh, the ore main building, because this will serve as our entrance. And then we'll also take out this main road as well. So let's get the entrance place first. We'll come in with some industrial road with all our snapping. And let's just draw in some supporting frames and then grab that main building. And we will centralise perfectly outside. That's tremendous, wonderful. And of course, a one-way system is always helpful with an industrial area. I'm hoping the traffic won't be too bad here because we do have access into the national road uh, via this network here and then there's also highway access uh, back onto the highway in this direction if they want to jump over the other side then they can come down this way instead so it shouldn't be too much of a traffic increase but we'll, we'll have to keep our eye on that today so of course terraforming is always massively important when we're working with any kind of ore build it gives them much more life so let's start sinking down, all right? We're going to dig out a pit. Let's actually check where the resource is as well. Yeah, so all our ore is here. So let's terraform around this, okay? Let's start pushing out all this landmass right up against the side of the road for the time being. Okay. And then why don't we change the tier here? So it's moving across multiple layers. So we'll grab a different height and then we'll start pushing away all of this. There's also the possibility of introducing a little kind of mining community that's tethered onto this as well, maybe using some of the University City assets. We'll see what we can do. Okay, and let's bring this a nice straight edge. And that should be okay. So I think for this particular ore build, I'm going to stay away from the big uh, bucket excavators. I just don't think it'd be a realistic aesthetic right next to an oil field. They were probably a little bit too big, so we're going to try and take uh, this ore mine in a particular different vibe today. If you do want to see kind of a big teeth excavator build, I will leave uh, a couple of videos in the top right hand corner, because uh, we've done a few of those now, uh, across Palavan and 5B. So now we have our ore pit dug, and this is going to be fairly nice. Are we out of heating? Yes we are. Need one more of these, let's just chuck it over here for right now. We do need to build a dedicated boiler area. They are just kind of stacked in this line here at the moment. Okay, so I think I'm very much a fan of the two-lane American Truss Bridge at the minute. And we're going to bring this up with no road guideline. Why don't we find a sensible height to bring this across the orb here, okay? This is very much kind of bridge of the month at the minute. I'm a huge fan of this one. Of course, we used it a couple of episodes ago uh, during our... Uh, industrial island build but it just works so nicely with industry right these kind of brick pillars and the the green truss supports really nice place to use it in our industrial areas so i want it to flow across the pit here today 
So we're getting some dodgy elevation, so what we'll do is we'll snap this point right, and then we'll come back into our level terrain. We're going to grab the height where the bridge starts, which is here. And then let's shatter this national road, just for a little bit. And then we're going to terraform out to this layer, just so our two-lane American truss can meet it a little more pleasingly. Grab that two-way highway again, come onto our freeform tour. And just let this meander up onto the hill. And this should give us a slightly more pleasing connection as we bring it back across the other side of the pit. Of course, we want this to be straight. There we go. That should help it out. There we go. That's a much nicer uh, joining of the two bridges, isn't it? I think I'm happy with that. Okay. That probably wants to be reworked as well. Let's uh, have a little look at this landscape. There we go. And of course, lots of uh, all fencing is going to be our best friend for detailing up at the side of this national road. And of course, we'll have a little sample of some all fencing. Let's just bring in a little sample section. And as people kind of drive along this national road, they can't quite see into it, but they can maybe see at the tips of some of the larger machinery. This is the aesthetic we're going for today. So let's come back into the ore mining pit now and start looking at placing at some of our larger ore assets. And we want to be snapped to the guideline of the American Truss. Okay, let's make sure that we are totally level here. We'll give ourselves as much breathing room. We will terraform a little bit of this very sharp incline back out. But for right now, we want the, the landscape to bend to the ore mining equipment. Because that's very much the, the feature of today's build, okay? Very nice. So let's come into our old stuff. So this thing has actually hit uh, level three by itself. So we're going to grab one of these. I'm going to think I want this face in towards here. So we're not going to use anything larger than the medium or mine, I think. So these cranes are, of course, animated. And it actually looks like they're just mining snow. <laughs> the snow texture. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, he is literally just mining snow, isn't he? Alright. Maybe not the most profitable resource to pillage the earth from, but... Whatever. We can live with that. Okay. So I don't think I'm totally adverse to that idea. So why don't we see if we can maybe back a couple of these uh, onto each other. And then do something nice in the middle. We need to paint out our industrial area first, of course. So I'm thinking... If we were to drop these onto each other... I want to make sure that, that animation isn't clipping with the bridge. That would very much take away from the aesthetic. But already we can see something developing here, right? Not too bad. Very industrial part of the map, this area of Navarre now. So why don't we help the realism of these little mining assets here with some rocks in between? So we're placing some base ones and we can perhaps get away uh, with some of the more phallic looking ones today as well. So almost like this is what's left. Uh, of the, the natural ore deposit, if we can just sandwich some rocks in between these assets. So it looks as though, you know, you can see the deposit that they're actually mining from. This is what's been annihilated by all this heavy machinery. Okay, so just positioning them mirrored from one another. With some rock assets in between, we can generate uh, so a little bit more of some... I guess ore deposit spice is the phrase we're looking for here today. Okay, not too bad. Again, we can see that that road is just ever so slightly elevating, so I'm going to cut away a little bit more of the landscape uh, up and against that high-speed national road. And then we can bring through our dirt road here as well. Now bring this down and continue to position uh, some more assets around here. So we also have the possibility for a small underground mine. Okay, so I don't think I'm totally adverse to that, but again, we can maybe position them around this central ore deposit. So it looks as though there is actually some kind of underground mining happening around the base. That looks like we're a little, a little too shallow here to get them just next to the pillars of that trust bridge. So let's just move our supporting road network back a little bit. Okay, why don't we place in two of these? 
So using two medium ore mines and two small mines should be enough to satisfy the demand. The hell are these people doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are they just lying down <laughs> in the snow? I've never ever seen that before. That's hilarious. Does that just happen when you move the asset? Oh my word, they all fall over. Well, at least one of them does. <laughs> I've never ever seen that. That is hilarious. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, slight distraction anyway. Let's carry on, shall we? So if we leave... Um, so that's really distracting. <laughs> I've never seen that. If we leave with one tile of space between, we can then flesh out the dirt texture using some vanilla dirt path, which just helps kind of get rid of a little bit of that white or the green if you're playing in a map that isn't snow. So we can use a lot of vanilla path to decorate the area here today as well. Okay, then we also have a large ore mine as well, and I wonder if we want to include one of these alongside too. I do like the aesthetic of them. Getting all these little kind of cargo containers out here. Again, I think it's something I can get on board with. Okay. Not too bad. But I hope you can agree now that the, the bucket excavator here, it would be too much. I think it would just be too much, so we're going to try and avoid it today. Okay. So now let's bring the road network up onto this second tier and decide just exactly how this is going to fit into the area. So why don't we terraform out this layer now? Now we know this is where the all mining operations end. We also want to bring down a little bit of a landmass as well for something of an entry road to come in. So why don't we get a slope tool here and just create a little mass of land for a dirt road to flow out of the back of the main building and we can then bring this down and then have some kind of connection temporarily for the ore miners so i think i definitely want some refining assets up here uh, to actually process our ore into glass and metal because that's really what the city is missing out on at the minute so that's what we'll do why don't we come in now with I think we'll start out with dirt road, but we'll possibly upgrade into industrial here in a second. I'll bring out some base frames. Now I'm a big fan of this building right here, the industrial oil storage. This really big giant red shed, or giant white shed in this case, but usually it's red. You kind of get a little idea of its texture here. It's like a corrugated iron, I guess, isn't it? Very nice industrial looking asset. The, the oil storage unit. So I think we'll have that there. We're going to be... Yeah, relatively happy with that, I think. And then the rotary kiln plants, yeah, these are going to produce uh, metal for us. And again, super important looking industrial asset. You can imagine now as people are driving along this oil fence, which is falling into the pit, we'll sort that out with terraforming. And then this is also going to work nicely as well to complement the oil build uh, because of these little chimney stacks. We're now seeing them appear in a couple of different places. Okay, I think I want another one of these in here as well. So why don't we see if we can position it somewhere here, okay? Let's have a little look what's going to happen with asset orientation. I'm hoping we can squeeze in another one. Yes, we can. That's going to be fine. So a couple of rotary kiln plants right next to a storage unit. I think I'm going to be happy with that. It also looks great from this angle too, kind of seeing these exposed... Uh, I guess these are kind of droppers, right? Or hoppers, whatever they're called. But again, even just the view down here, you know, asset orientation, massively helpful in terms of decorating. You see all these big pipes and you know, there's lots of industrial vibes. It's very much what we're after here today. And then again, we're going to terraform out the land that we don't need now. So we know that we can stay here. And there's possibilities for a connection to possibly lie so they are whinging of not enough raw materials at the minute, which is fine. This will clear up as trucks come in to drop the ore off. And then again, we'll level out this layer against the entrance road. And see what we can place in here. So why don't we have a little look at some possible sand storage might work nicely here, actually. It would if that wasn't in the way, though. So let's temporarily rework 
this little road network because that's really what's restricting us at the minute. You know, like I said at the start, we want the landscape to really bend around the assets for an ore build because, you know, they're the meat and potatoes of the day. So we'll redraw that slope in, we'll grab that height with the slope tool. Then we'll bring it up a little bit shallower on a slightly less severe angle. And then we'll place in... So there's ore storage and sand storage, both of them function the same, I believe. Yeah, so one just has higher capacity. Okay, well we're already using a storage shed here, so let's just go for the smaller capacity ones. Why don't we drop in two of these next to each other, because these will actually fill up uh, with ore, which is a very... A nice aesthetic to factor into the build as well today. So we'll allow them to sit there for right now. And then we can redraw our little entrance road here. Again, just bringing them down and providing a temporary connection for people to get in and out of the area. So I think now I want maybe this main road that runs through the pit to be industrial and then all off of this kind of main spine uh, will be kind of dirt road. Maybe these would be industrial as well, that hold the larger assets. Okay. Well, that's not going to be too bad. So the next resource that we want to produce from a ore industry area is going to be glass. So again, we'll do a touch more terraforming. We're trying not to knacker all this up at the same time. And we can now have a look at some glass assets. So let's see which ones that we have to play with first of all. So we have the glass manufacturing plant and the fiberglass plant. This one's the latter. And I think I do prefer the look of this one, but we can maybe get away with placing in two of each. Or one of each, rather. And again, using the position of the asset to help decorate the area. So we have a, a view into the pit on this road here as well, so we're going to want to factor that in to today's build. So why don't we bring down another road here. And then we'll run this parallel again, making sure that we are fully terraformed out to give us as much room as possible. And we will come back through in our detail in Talon today and rejig a lot of this terraforming so it's not such a harsh, immediate cutaway. And then we'll draw our road up here and then let's relocate the fiberglass plant and then see what we think of its orientation over here. We are moving quite close to residential at this point as well, so we want to... Yeah, we're still within the noise pollution radius, so that's absolutely fine. Okay. So I think I want the back of the asset facing this road, right? So this is really uh, easy to implement. Let's just take away this and then join a road directly behind. And then this will just allow us to flip onto that second level. And I think that's going to help decorate the entrance into the ore area as well, isn't it? Not too bad. So I think I may be feeling... A second one of these. So we're placing under the glass manufacturing plant there. Well, this is the fiberglass plant, isn't it? Sorry. Yeah, this is the fiberglass plant. And then maybe we'll include uh, one glass manufacturing as well. Okay. Not too bad. Let's take this away. And then continue to work on the supporting road network. It's probably a good idea to come back onto the guard line at this point as we want to align with that main spine again and then again can we grab the glass manufacturing plant to possibly sit here oh it's slightly off ever so slightly but that's easily fixed because that road isn't a permanent fixture just an initial holding frame but we can draw that in and again if you want to start coming in with some detailing already why don't we just fill out these two little areas with some dirt path and then maybe some tufty bits of overgrowth just to hide a little bit more of that white. Okay. If anyone's ever kind of seen an ore quarry in real life there. Extremely messy. So that's very much a vibe you want to bring in with your detail as well. Perhaps a couple of just little saplings that are threatening to break through. Again. Okay. Just to fill a little bit of space behind one of the plants here. But already we're looking quite industrial and I think I'm happy with it. Let's have a look at the ore maintenance building. Uh, this one is 
a real nice looking asset and one that I used actually in the uh, the water treatment plant build uh, during 5b worked really nicely in that aesthetic as well doesn't have just to be used for ore so the maintenance buildings are going to increase the storage capacity of the other ore assets by 5% per maintenance building and because they have a nice open courtyard out the front I think we can get away uh, with some repeated maintenance spice I think it's going to be appropriate so I think we'll bring up a main road from this one. And again, we might make this industrial. And let's just double check our traffic, everyone. Seems to be flowing. Although this isn't great here. Might want to give these another connection in. Make this a one-way system. I guess it's just these guys filling up the ore, isn't it? Yeah, they're coming in to fill up these storage units. You okay? You don't seem to be receiving any deliveries. Hopefully that'll change. This one's getting the bulk of them. We just hopefully see these demand icons in the harbour disappear through today's episode. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Looks like some metal just made it over there, so that's good to see those disappearing. Okay, anyway, back to the original point of some repeated uh, ore maintenance spice. So I think we can duplicate these but again i think because of the texture out the front we have to stick it as dirt yeah so you see it's almost like an expansion of the asset just by using the same texture of road beneath okay i think i can get away with that i think that's going to be okay all right not too bad so we can trim off uh, this support network now let me know where we're headed and we'll bring it I guess just directly behind. I want to go one more tile over than that. The road guard line is messing with us here. There we go. And then let's now level out uh, from the height where the main building sits. And we can bring all this back up and around the side of this industrial line that flows through here with the cargo. Okay. But otherwise, let's just have a brief check of our traffic health. Because there's a ton of industrial traffic around here, so we have to be very careful. Backups can very easily accumulate. So the main intersection of the roundabout's fine. Big arterial through the middle. One-way systems are certainly helping with flow here. I'm always championing one-way systems for industrial areas. It looks as though the one-way system's actually siphoning off a few trucks out of the ore area too. They're choosing to come back down this way. He says as they immediately stopped. <laughs> immediately stopped taking that route. Okay. I might get to the point where we want this to be one way. But we'll just keep our eye on it. For right now, everyone's fine. Okay. So now let's have a look at some of the uh, all worker barracks. And these are going to increase their work efficiency by 5% per building. And again, I think I'm going to be happy to accompany these with the main building because they're two uh, quite similar looking assets. Okay, so I think we're going to use this one as the holding road initially. We'll bring that one in. These assets also make really nice kind of highway rest stop motels. The uh, industry barracks, if you're looking for maybe a bit of alternative usage. So we'll place in another one, maybe go for a tile over. So again, we can afford to bring through some of those... Uh, dirt path decals. Okay. Maybe shower it here. Downgrade into dirt as we come onto this road that runs alongside the rail. Maybe we can bring up a couple more in this space too, hopefully. Get another one there, and I think that'll be okay with the workers' barracks for the area. And where we just have this very harsh terraform lip now, that's just soften that out with a little bit of slope so it's not quite as severe okay but already again important that we keep checking from all angles i think it sits in really nicely with the oil refinery right i think it does i don't think we're missing any unique factories here today the main one would be the industrial steel plant but that's already over by the harbor which it looks as though now yeah two of the factories are now receiving metal 
This one is still running low on metal, hopefully. Do we have enough metal storage in the port, I wonder? Yeah, all the current metal storage is empty. And what are you guys doing? Fiberglass plant, dropping off glass. Okay, hopefully metal trucks will start making their way over. Do have a little bit of death in the European area. Are you guys okay for death care, I wonder? Just maybe drop in another crematorium just to help tidy up a few of those corpses. It's like it's struggling a little bit. And then I think some final asset placements that I want to discuss. He's going to be placing some of the, the dome looking ore storage just because it's such a nice aesthetic to have in the area. So we'll level up one more layer. Now everyone is constantly stocked here. We're not running out. Everyone's receiving ore. Uh, which is quite interesting, you know, we have all these manufacturing buildings and all this storage and it's from five uh, production assets. We're keeping uh, everyone stocked. Are these guys are actually in the resource. He's not. He probably needs to move over a little bit here, actually. Yeah, we'll probably relocate him during our detailing time lapse. Just so he's a little more productive. He's just about scraping through at the minute. Okay, so let's have a look at placement of some storage domes not like that though the containers are teetering dangerously on the edge so yeah i think again and uh, we can back these onto each other i think that's going to be quite an appealing uh, aesthetic so why don't we bring in one raw mineral storage here that's going to be wonderful again we'll redraw our road so we can come just down the side Again, we can check the depth of the asset to the back. It's 300. So we'll come out by three, uh, 320 from the back of the asset. Okay. And then we can place this directly behind, which saves us that one tile for that vanilla dirt path to come through, just to flesh out the texture between the two assets and create a little alleyway in the industrial area as well, which the workers are actually phasing through. <laughs> They've ascended the laws of physics. Maybe some kind of... They've uncovered maybe some radioactive uh, uranium if you want a little bit of lore. Although that just needs to be uh, slightly uh, shifted over, doesn't it? So we'll accommodate for that as well. I also like the fact that these green cities developments are sitting so close to the ore mine as well. You know, it's almost like the, the new green wave of sustainable living is slowly encroaching upon the old ways of uh, kind of, you know, a lot more pollutive. A lot more damaging to the earth. I kind of like that aesthetic, how it's so close to each other. Okay, so I also wanted to discuss the possibility of a little mining community or the remnants of an old mining town that's perhaps on the brink of redevelopment. Uh, where, you know, all the workers used to live back in the olden days before kind of petroleum refinery became a thing and, you know, everyone moved out into the city. You know, kind of a remnants of the old days town. And we've got a couple of connections that we can bring in uh, to establish this idea today. So I think we'll just come out with a very basic road frame. Maybe a little bit shallower than that. Okay, and then place some kind of lonely park asset. See if we have any unique buildings here left over. We do have the Plaza of the Dead still, which will sit in quite nicely in this area. So maybe the remnants of an old town centre here, if you will. We can box this in. And then surround this with some healthier commercial assets. Let's bring in post office. Possibly a med clinic as well. Alright. Let's get these guys watered up. And then I think we'll also go uh, for European suburbia assets here. Rather than regular vanilla. Okay, let's bring all this round. Let's follow the snap guideline of the road. I bring it into here as well. And then we'll also name these two areas after our Patreon subscribers today. One of which will be the Richard Francis Fields, as the remnants of the old town. And then our ore area is going to be named after our wonderful resident Pittsburgher, Simply Adia, but we're going to go for Simply Audio. Oh Let's add the A in actually. 
But yeah, thank you so much for your support, guys. Really appreciate it. If you guys are interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, there are, of course, links down below. But we have a ton of residential demand, so we can definitely afford to fulfill this. Let's go for European suburbs. Now let's just start drawing in some very basic road frames to accommodate this town. Now the detail around here is going to be really key to generating the aesthetic that we want. So just bring in some very base residential frames. Nothing massively serious or threatening. It'll also be nice to get some residentials up against the rail as well. And then lots of low density res. Bring these in over here first so we get that power sink from the Green Cities area. And then some more road frames around the centre. Let's actually make this perhaps a nicer grass road around the town. And then we'll draw in some commercial zoning. Just to help flesh out that town centre feel. Apologies if you guys can't hear the fireworks. It is bonfire night in England today. Or the UK rather. So I hope I'm getting the point across that, you know, the new way of thinking, the new way of living is slowly enveloping this old area. And, you know, the, the old people are holding on. I hope that's coming across. <laughs> I hope it is. So let's throw in some park assets around here. Let's make this a slightly more uh, desirable place to live. Why don't we chuck in a dog park? And again, we're always a fan of walkability. So we'll continue to keep everyone moving around with lots of vanilla dirt pop here today. Keep them fed onto that main road too from various different directions, possibly down here as well. And then I think a little bit a nature reserve fence is going to go a long way here to decorating this kind of old mining town with a little bit of a kind of a conifer border in between not too many re repeated tree patterns we don't want this to look particularly landscaped right okay and then we can get in more batches of residential i think a graveyard will also go uh, quite well in this area because it's quite old so why don't we allow a dedicated road network to accommodate this perhaps with a treed road so we can place in the graveyard you know and perhaps the plaza of the dead can also be a memorial for all those that actually perished in the establishment of the ore mine you know there's always lots of accidents in ore mines very dangerous places to work so if we want to get into a little bit of Navarian law then you know Maybe this can be what it's for. Okay. But again, asset selection is going to be really important around here. Probably don't want the University City commercial spawning. They may be a little bit too modern. But I'm happy with these kind of old brick marketplace ones. And uh, the ice cream parlor is okay. I definitely... Of course a burger bite. We always love a burger bite, right? But that's just a very kind of base, you know, small town frame that's going to sit up against this arterial. And there's plenty of decoration and pathway opportunities to come through here. Just to flesh this out a little bit. But otherwise, guys, I feel like that does feel like a good place for a detailing time lapse. There is a lot of space to fill. We're going to slightly rework the road network here to accommodate the larger ore mine actually on the natural resource. Bringing lots of rocks on these slopes, lots of exposed kind of rock and ore decals are very, very important for making these things look a little bit authentic. Surround the entire ore pit with ore fence and rework a little bit of this terraforming up against the main roads as well. And then continue to decorate and flesh out the zoning in this town as it comes in. And of course, refine these commercial assets. And then just make these new additions into this side of the map uh, fit in a little more seamlessly. And of course, bring in the natural conifer forest that did sit around here. But otherwise, let's detail it up and we'll be right back.
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, likes, comments and shares below really help out my channel. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Really happy with this build. Well, he has two little mini builds that are glued together and it rounds out this very industrial corner of Novaria quite nicely. There was a ton of detail in so make sure you guys do hang around for the outro attire to check out how this thing looks at night time and of course the long awaited uh, view to the uh, skyline from across this very industrial part of Novaria. Uh, to be honest, I'm quite surprised at how well the road network is actually handling this enormous amount of industrial traffic that's generated from this point, especially with the cargo rail here as well. And our factories over on the industrial port are now staying nicely stocked, so we've definitely satisfied the metal demand today with two rotary kiln plants. And we are nearing the end of Novaria now. There's probably maybe two live streams left in a few episodes, but we're really not that far from done. New things to come, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Should be exciting for us all. But otherwise, I will shut up and I will leave it there. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.